Why not visit a dermatologist this time of year to make sure you didn't get something over the summer? Especially because melanoma is the most severe form of skin cancer. Mm -hmm. And new treatments could be on the way after a major breakthrough. Researchers in California say that they've figured it out. So we want to discuss this breakthrough and get into the details because this could change a lot of lives. We have a Philly-based dermatologist, Dr. Jason Neustadter is here. Uh, Dr. Jason has been on our show many times. Good to see you again. Good morning. Thanks so, I don't think we can announce, oh, we have a cure for melanoma, but this is kind of a big deal. It is. It's a, it's a major breakthrough. Um, researchers in California found that inhibiting a key enzyme essentially kills melanoma cells and nothing else. It doesn't kill normal cells, it doesn't kill other cancer cells. And blocking this one metabolic enzyme selectively kills wow. melanoma cells. So they're doing you know, research in labs and stuff like that. Doing research in labs, doing research on animals at this point. Okay. And right. how would it be administered? Like, is this a shot? Is this a form of chemo? Is this... They're actually looking for things called small molecule inhibitors, which are, which may be an oral, an oral or a oh, pill like a form, pill. Okay. yeah, that that would block this enzyme, and and it's it's really uh, it's a specific type of pathway, and that was why everyone was so excited because yeah. it was something that was really only required for melanoma cells to survive, uh, and, and it didn't kill anything else. Or nothing else. Good. Yeah. Uh, how many years away would this be, do you think? I mean, it's, it's still years away. Uh, yeah. I mean, they, they've, they have a proof of concept now, and they have a, an enzyme to target. But what they're going to need to do now is go through existing and experimental yeah. molecules and therapies and individually test them for activity against this enzyme. Do you think most people who have melanoma had no idea they had it until they saw a dermatologist? At least half the time, that's the way. Half the it, time. At least half the time, that's the way it is. Yeah, they're often picked up on regular skin exams when patients come in for just a routine exam, and we notice. And you go, "Oh my God, you have." Well, we, you know, we don't say it quite like that. But. Yeah, there's <laughs> <laughs> a softer way to it. But I mean, it's very serious because isn't melanoma? Even though it's one of the more rare form of cancers, it can be one of the most deadly. It is the mo It's it's less than one percent of all skin cancers by number but almost exclusively responsible for the deaths. Oh my God. So one, one person every hour dies from melanoma in this country. And specifically, uh, it's the number one cancer killer of women, 25 to 30, and it's the second most common cancer. It's, it's projected to be the second most common cancer in everybody within the next decade or two. Why? But presently, it's the number one cancer in men under 50. It's because we're not taking care of ourselves, our, our skin? It's, and blocks and everything else. It's it's largely due to sun exposure and yeah. often sun exposure early in early in life. Mm. Um, and you so can get it anywhere on your body. You can get it anywhere on your body. You can even get it in areas not exposed to the sun, like on the bottom of the foot, uh, your butt, and yeah, yeah, yeah else. And anywhere. Yeah. So that's why so we do a full skin exam. We we really go head to toe. And is that the key when you go to your doctor? Make sure you get a full skin exam, or how do we make sure that we're on top of it? So, pa patients should come to the dermatologist periodically, every year or two, you know, depending on their risk factors, for a full skin exam. It's a great part of preventive health, and it's our job to find things before. Yeah. Sort and of before they're ever an issue. Head to toe. Right. And I have to yeah. admit, when I heard about this, that this is an enzyme that targets a specific cancer, I started thinking, is this the key then to other, other cancers? So what they found in this study was, no, this is specific okay. to melanoma. They also tested it against breast cancer and lung cancer, and it had no effect. Okay. But as a positive, it also had no effect on normal cells. Well, there you go. So unlike See. traditional chemo, which kind of affects kind of everything, everything, this would specifically knock out the melanoma cells. Let's hope we see this soon then. Boom. Nicely done. Stay Thank tuned. You. Thanks, doctor. Thank